Thanks for joining us. We have Amy Beauchamp, uh, coach of our uh, U12 VK team and Holy Cross secondary coach. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So let's go back to the beginning. You grew up uh, in Surrey and, and you started playing uh, at Holy Cross. Talk a little bit about that. Your dad obviously was a, a very good player. I'm assuming he got you guys going pretty young. Yeah, so both my mom and my dad played basketball their whole lives. Um, my dad played at SFU and my mom played at Douglas. Um, and I started playing around seven years old and my dad created a club team and we'd go travel to the States and we ended up playing with boys because there wasn't enough girls. Yeah. Um, and yeah, then it's just been a huge part of my life. Played all five years at Holy Cross. And yeah, my team was, I was lucky enough to be on a pretty talented team. Um, grade eight, we finished second in provincials. Um, we lost in overtime to a good Maple Ridge team. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, and then grade nine, we won provincials. We stayed together. Um, and then grade 10, I went up to senior and we were okay. We made provincials. Um, and then grade 11, what did we come? We came fourth in provincials and then grade 12 became fifth. Right. So I was lucky enough to go to provincials every year, which was oh, that's nice. awesome. That's, you know, and, and people, people take that for granted until they actually look back at it and they're like, wait a second, that was pretty cool. I yeah. Doing that. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then you, you, you went and played post-secondary. Where did you go? I played at Douglas College um, for my first year, and then mine was kind of crazy. And then I decided to go to Lakehead with my friend in Ontario. Um, and then I kind of ran into some medical issues, um, ended up having a seizure because I'm epileptic. Um, so I ended up coming home before the season started. And then my sister got really sick um as you know and then so I kind of just stopped playing for a bit um and then I went and I went to Kwantlen and then I got hurt before the season started and I was out for eight months oh geez so I pretty much ended there and then I decided to start coaching yeah and and so um one of the cool things about Holy Cross is you guys are you get a, a pretty good following there at the school and it's an important thing for girls to be playing basketball at Holy Cross. It's not like, you know, a school where they don't care, they actually care about that. So talk about the experience of being a part of a program that's been around, you know, doing stuff for a long time, um, you know, and, and kind of the importance that it had while you were there. Yeah, so girls basketball really became um a big thing when I was in grade 12. Um, that's when my dad came and started coaching and he kind of started the culture back up because um, we hadn't been good for a while. Um, and then, yeah, so girls basketball started to become big again and we had club teams that had girls that were coming to Holy Cross um, play on the same team. Um, kind of started with my sister's group. Um, and I coached, helped coach with my dad, um, Slama Jama, that we ran out of Holy Cross. Right. Um, so she was lucky enough to be on a really good team. Um, and all the girls on her Slama Jama team came to Holy Cross. Um, and then so I coached her in grade eight. And they were lucky enough to win provincials. Um, and then that group stayed together all the way up. And they won provincials again um and so what, what 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 got you into coaching what what got you into getting excited um, and helping coach i just really always loved watching my sisters play sports like i would get up early and go to the gym and watch their games as opposed to sleeping in um and i loved like the stats of basketball and i think just having parents that were so basketball oriented it was kind of just in me to coach like my dad coached um my mom even coached a bit and then once i did it when i was coaching like my sister's regional team and stuff i just fell in love with it and just couldn't give it up yeah for sure you know what a lot of people talk about is you know uh basketball is kind of like a safe place for them to kind of like let go of their stress in their life you always have yeah. things that have, that have not been the best situations mm -hmm. um Similar to me, ironically, I had I had the same thing. It probably threw me into coaching as well, but it, it kind of keeps you busy. Talk about how um, it's been a it's been a good bastion for you to kind of go 
worry about something else for a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely been a stress reliever for me, um, just with all the stuff that's gone on in my life. Um, but yeah, when I'm coaching, I just forget about everything and I'm just in the moment and I don't have to worry about anything that's going on. I just can worry about the girls, what we're planning to do, and it's just fun. Like it's yeah, something okay. really yeah. I think that's something that's important for people to remember is like, you know, you got to live in the moment, right? So the past, yeah, sure. the past might not be the greatest, the future, who knows what's going to happen there. Mm -hmm. but, but if we can just soak up right now and kind of stay focused on the present, we can actually do something kind of cool. And yeah. so it's, it's an important lesson for all, all these kids to, to see that. And because, you know, um, I think we get distracted a lot in life and, and, the, and, and losing focus is never the best idea. And so finding yeah. a way to stay focused is always good. So uh, what, what team did you coach this past year? Um, I actually coached two teams. I coached the grade eight girls and the junior girls. Okay. And so your grade eight team was actually pretty good this year. How, how, tell me about them a little bit. My grade eights were, this year we were okay. We were really good last year. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, I, we have a lot of good guards. Um, at Holy Cross, we tend to be very guard-oriented. We're not very tall. Yeah, um, one year. One year you had a little One time. year. <laughs> My sister's year was the only year they had height. You could have used a guard. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we were good. Um, we just struggled with the height against other teams. Um, like we played against Stephanie's team at Argyle, yeah. and they were so tall that that was a bit of a struggle. Um, but yeah, we made, we came second in Surrey. Um, we lost to a really good Elgin Park team. And then we made Fraser Valleys, and we lost by two points to South Delta, um, and that would have gave us provincials. So that was a that was a tough one. Yeah, for sure. So talk about how um, basketball has impacted your life outside of the court. Like, um, you know, you guys obviously, as a basketball family, you guys are all doing basketball. Your dad coaches at Douglas, obviously. Mm -hmm. Your sister just finished her career there. Talk about the importance it's had on the rest of your life. Is that a how's huge it, sorry, how has it translated to other things like teamwork, all that sort of thing? Yeah, it's been huge. Like, I love the basketball aspect of it, but it goes so much more beyond that. Like, creating the relationships with the kids is just, I just love that because you get to know them on a personal level as opposed to just knowing them as basketball players. Right. Um, and then you just create so many friendships outside of it like just meeting other coaches and other kids on other teams. And it just broadens your network. Um, yeah. And it's, it's just been great. Fantastic. What do you, what do, you do for work? Um, right now I work as an EA at Holy Cross. Oh, fantastic. And, and yeah. so talk about um, how basketball has helped you in your, in your work. It's helped me a lot. Um, it's definitely given me a lot of patience which you definitely need. Yeah, no kidding. As as the <laughs> DA, yeah, for sure. So that's definitely helped. Um, and it's helped me be able to create relationships with the kids um, because they struggle a lot um, just what they have to deal with. And you still have to deal with that in basketball too because everyone's struggling in different ways. Um, so basketball's really helped me be able to create um, relationships with the kids that I work with um and yeah i like it um so uh obviously we're not doing uh on the court stuff right now what have you been yeah. what have you been doing uh basketball related in the downtime so we're going twice a week um on tuesdays and thursdays for about half an hour mm -hmm. and on tuesdays we kind of focus more on skills like a lot of ball handling stuff because not all the girls have hoops um and then we try to do like a little bit of team bonding at the same time kind of get to know you stuff because we really don't know them um and then thursdays we do more of conditioning stuff um to try and keep them in shape as much as we can totally um, yeah the you know it's, it's kind of an interesting thing having to deal with finding ways to stay motivated and keep people going Mm -hmm. how, how do you how do you find so it's like you know, doing that team building stuff kind of the way that you guys have been doing that to kind of keep people excited yeah and it helps me get excited too because totally it's uh it's hard to get motivated sometimes but when you're learning new things about people and 
you just kind of hope that eventually we'll get into the season and it'll all be worth it in the end. Absolutely. So, you know, obviously I ask this question to everybody, but if you could go back, if, if you could go back and give young Amy Beauchamp some advice, what, mm -hmm. what, what would you tell her while she was in high school or just before high school? I think I would tell her to push herself because I think at times I could be a very lazy person. <laughs> And I think I would just tell myself to keep going and push the boundaries and yeah, you'll go way further than I could have gone. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, I think, I think that's, we always fight that internal like uh, pull, right? Like yeah. you can do more, you can, yeah. you can do more, keep going. You got to do more. And so I think as long as you take that to your coaching now and you can find a way to get a kid to do that, like, you know, I got a kid on my high school team. She, um, very talented, but just very creative with the excuses yeah. and it's like dude, <laughs> come on man like, you got one year left you're not in grade eight no more like it, yeah it's almost over you better you better figure it out and you better yeah. you gotta you gotta go and so if you can just turn one kid into that then it, it makes a difference right and so that's that's oh, kind of fun sure. well, I, think right, 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 right. I think i'm harder on the kids i coach now and expect more from them when i was in high school yeah, actually, you know, it's funny because I look back at a couple of teams I've had, you know, you lose by a point here or a point there, mm -hmm. you think about it, and you're like, you know, did you let them off the hook or did, you, did, they, did they give everything? And, you know, yeah. when, you, when you can say that you, you gave, they gave everything, then you're fine with it. Yeah. And exactly. if you say to yourself, like, wait a second, you know, I probably could have pulled a little harder. I could have mm -hmm. pushed. We could have, we could have gotten maybe over that hump. We didn't need yeah. that much more. We put in all that time. Maybe that it's that 1% that we needed. And so if we had done that, who knows what would have happened yeah so it's kind of interesting to think like that mm -hmm. so now let, last last question if you're if you're going back in time to the the, the favorite team that you played on mm -hmm. um what made it a special team oh good question um my favorite team to play on it probably would have been when i was in grade 11 um just because the other years were great but this year I was with my grade which right. was nice because I was up with the older girls before and we actually got to go to San Diego oh fun um and we went to Disneyland and stuff so it was really just such a great team bonding um team and we were all really close um a lot of, I think about seven or eight girls stayed on the team since grade eight. Um, so we were a pretty close knit group. Um, and the parents were super involved too, which was actually really nice. Whenever you have good parents, a part of your team, like I think it helps um, tremendously. And yeah, it was just, we got to go places, which was awesome. Whenever you can go on trips, I think that definitely yeah, helps the team. Well, thanks a lot for joining us. I really appreciate it. I think uh, I think there was definitely some good tidbits in there that we can hopefully share with some other people. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Take care.